All right, hello there and welcome. My name is Santi. And today I want to share with you a really quick tip, something that I do all the time to write emails, format them nicely from Obsidian. And in my case, I'm going to show you how you can send that through Gmail. Nothing too advanced. If you're a complete beginner, you can definitely do this. So yeah, let's just get into it. It's very simple, but not that intuitive. So in this case, I just created a new node where I'm drafting my email. And in my case, I just put the email address that I want to send it to up here, the subject line, and then I just start writing my email as so, right? Nothing special about it. All I do is really format things nicely with markdown, with headings, and we can do some links. We can even like fold things nicely to see the structure of our email. If you already know how to use Obsidian and you feel proficient at it, you'll know what I mean. But if you're getting started, maybe Markdown is something you're not yet familiar with and you want to get to know the fundamentals of Obsidian, highly recommend this amazing resource. And I say that because I made it. <laughs> yeah, either way. So this is a, a course that I put together for Obsidian that I've really enjoyed making. I'm super proud of it. I definitely want to keep growing it. And in case you don't consider yourself very tech savvy, you're just getting started with Obsidian. This is hopefully going to be the best resource that you can learn from. So I really hope it helps you. Uh, feel free to check it out in the description. Here you can see everything that I covered so far in the course. So yeah, it just means a lot if you support this um, course and you support me and I really, really appreciate it. So do check it out if you got a chance. Now, going back to our email, if we format things correctly with Markdown and we just make everything as we want, you know, something important that I think is going to make your emails better and stand out is really breaking things down. And I think headings and division lines are really going to help you do that properly. Bullet points and so on. If you, you know, you've definitely written an email before, you've definitely received emails that are full of, you know, just text, pure text. And you're like, I'm not going to read that. That's too long. Or you just get bored midway through. Either way, I think, you know, and you probably are familiar with newsletters, the way that they over format things, I think that's too much, but formatting things nicely like this is going to definitely allow you to be more engaging with whoever you're writing to. And yeah, it's just going to make the, the, the whole email a lot more aesthetic and just easy to go through, easy to read, right? So with that said, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go into preview mode. And you know, in case you're not 100% familiar yet, preview mode, I just divided the screen right now, is just a way in which you don't see all the hashtags and all the formatting stuff. So let me just link this to this. Now when I scroll one, the other one scrolls as well. So you see like these division lines that I was telling you about, these ones, three hyphens, are gonna format a nice breaking line in here, which in emails is something that I use all the time. Even when I don't have time to write proper headings for things, I do try to at least put some dividing lines here. You'll see in, in Gmail how it looks. It looks really nice. So what we're going to do now is just we're going to take this preview mode. I'm even going to close this edit mode. You can go back and forth with this or with a shortcut. And all we're going to do now is we're going to select exactly what we need. And in my case, I'm going to open Gmail right here and I'm going to compose a new email. Now, actually, before we paste this, let me just take the email address that I need right in here and then the subject line right there. And now if we go to preview mode, same thing as usual, we just click in here or use the shortcut. Oops, sorry. <laughs> we just copy this while we're in preview mode and we copy all of that, right? The reason why I don't copy, do control A is because it's also going to select the top of the node and it's also going to select uh, these two parts that we don't want in the email content. So we just select it from here and copy that like so. Now we can just go into email, into Gmail, and I'm gonna paste that. And that is gonna format things nicely, but of course, in my case, because I'm using dark mode theme, uh, it's gonna look like this, which is not the best, but it's very easy to fix. So all we need to do is select all, and then all I have to do is go to this text color right here and just reselect this white. Right now, everything's gonna be invisible because the text is still uh, light, uh, which just is being solved by just putting text color black. And now everything is going to be perfect, right? And now you can see that everything that was bold is going to be bold and italics as well. The um, headings are going to look great. The link is going to work perfectly. I'll just wait for that to load. It works perfect. And yeah, everything just formatted nicely. This line looks amazing, which is something you can usually do easily in Gmail, it's just going to speed up your whole process because yes, you can just grab something and make it bold. And that's not that terrible, but even like making 
you know, like headings is not that easy. You get to go normal, large. It's just confusing. I mean, there's ways that you can format things in Gmail, but I really don't like it. And why do that when we can simply format things nicely in Obsidian, right? In Markdown. So this is one of the best ways I am aware of to just like format things nicely like this. Now, of course, there's tons of plugins and I've tried tons of things to make this possible. But to be honest, this is the simplest solution that I that I've definitely found and, and I highly recommend it. Now, another thing, in case you didn't like that process of changing the text color, you could technically use a light mode in here, which I just prompted with, with Control P in my case, which opens a command palette, and I just start writing use light mode, right? Now, if we go to preview mode, we can select things, and depending on the theme that you're using, this theme won't work great because it still has a gray background, right? Which right now can just be solved by putting black background like so. It really depends on the theme that you're using because some themes will have this completely white. Uh, this is my theme and I don't like complete whiteness. I feel it's quite ugly. <laughs> so yeah, I usually just use dark mode and I just do things as I showed you by changing the color of the background in Gmail and by changing the text color. So that is how we format things nicely. And now everything just looks great and in Gmail is going to look pretty much the same, right? So it's a very nice method. I really enjoy it. It's something that I use all the time. And actually, I might be miscrediting someone because I can't remember who mentioned this in the forum. So this is not completely my idea, but yeah, it's, it's there for the taking. It's kind of obvious, but it's not, it's not that obvious, really. Like, it's not that easy to come up with this. Um, but yeah, once you once you realize that this is possible, I, I don't see myself writing emails in any other way unless I find a better tool that helps me write in Markdown as effortlessly as this. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And yeah, I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Again, check out my Obsidian Online course. It's the best way you can support this channel. And yeah, more than that, I just want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.